Alright, hey guys, so today I wanted to show you a uh, application that you can get right here in Cydia. Um, if you don't know what Cydia is, and um, then you obviously haven't jailbroken your iPhone or iPod Touch. So what you need to do is go through and jailbreak it. The latest firmware for that is 3.1.2. You can go check out um, Ty's iPhone Help or BBB, BB's iPhone iPod Touch Helpers. I'll put a link in the description where you can go check that out. Anyways, um... So, how you're going to get this is, you're going to go into Cydia, and then wait for this to load. It'll take a little while. Well, I already had it loaded before, I guess. Okay. Anyway, so search for it, and what you're going to search for is spring, let me spell it right, and then scroll down to the S's, and it's going to be spring jump. Spring jumps right there. So you just click on it, and I already have it installed, so it's going to say modify up there in the top right corner. But yours will say if you don't have it. Obviously, you don't have it, that's why you're watching this. But um, you just click on install, and then um, after that installed, it'll probably ask you to restart your springboard. So after you have it installed, the icon will look like this right here, that red one right there. And you're just going to um, click on it and open it up. And then it'll give you a warning saying that uh, if you mess with any of this stuff, it'll require a uh, springboard springboard restart, which is all right. Um, so if you don't want to restart your springboard, go ahead and exit out of this. Do whatever else you were going to do and then come back into it and do it later. Anyway, so uh, you click on how to use and it'll tell you how you can use it. And uh, basically what this application does is it gives you like little icons. Not little icons. It gives you icons and they say like 0 through 8 and um, you just click on like 1 to go to the first page, 2 to go to the second page, you click 0 to go to the very very first page uh, 3, you know, you get it, it keeps going on and on until 8 and um, if you have more than 8, I don't I don't think you can do more than 8, I think there's only 8, 0 through 8 icons so just let you know um, So click back and then it gives you like release notes um, known issues there's no known issues right now um, and then project homepage which will bring you up in Safari and then uh, preferences general you can have the page titles and you can also have a jump dock which I don't I haven't used yet so I can't really um, tell you what that is sorry um, I'm pretty sure that you just put uh, it puts an icon on there and you click on it and whichever page you want it to go to I guess. So let's click back. Uh, let's go to jump icons. So you can see it has 0 through 8 right here and uh, it, it shows you what the icons look like right there. That's what the icons look like. And I only have seven pages um, so I don't really need... I think I have seven pages. I'm pretty sure I do. Anyways, I, don't, I didn't really need the eighth one so I just turned it off. So whichever ones you don't want on then you can just turn them off or whichever ones you want on you can turn them on by just uh, switching it on and off so let's exit out of it and um, let me go back to the very beginning and this is what the icons crap okay this is what the icons look right here you can see it says page one it's gonna go to my next page and then I have zero right there so just in case I want to go back to it then you click page one then I have page two right there page three page four page five page six page I need to take page 7 off because I don't really have anything there. But I'll do that later. Because it'll do a restart and then I'll have to go back into Demo God, whatever. Anyway, so, um, I find this very helpful. I really like it. I think it's kind of neat. Because it's, it's easy to get to it instead of just swiping. Sometimes I get kind of tired of swiping to go through all my pages. So, if you have a lot of pages, this will be very helpful. If you don't have that many pages, but like three pages, uh, it, it can be helpful, but um, you might think it's kind of dumb. I mean, you might think it's dumb to have it even if you have seven or eight pages, but um, I don't think it's dumb because I have so many pages on here. Well, I guess it's not that many pages, but you know. Um, but, like, if you have more than eight pages, I recommend getting um, an application. Let me go to Cydia. Hold on. Wait for it to load a minute. Seconds, I guess. Um, I recommend you getting an app, not an application. Um, it's called five. You can even do six, probably. 
a five column springboard right there so that you could have more icons within a page. You can do five column springboard. You can also do six, I'm pretty sure. So hold on. Six column. Uh, I don't think I have it. I, had, I think you had to put a, a city of source into it, and I don't remember what it is. It was Excelize or something like that. One of the Excel slide. Ah, I can't even say it. Excelize sources. Be this source right here, something like it. Um, I didn't have it on here because I tried putting it in and it wouldn't work. Hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope it was very. Um, uh, I hope I gave you a lot of information about the application. I hope you go and download it if you have a lot of pages. Um, I recommend getting it if you have a lot of pages. If you have like two or three pages, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't get it unless you just think it's really cool and you really like it. But uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye.